Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dear, what's going on? I want to tell you, stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all I mean, all I mean, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. But the most important thing, y'all say y'all follow us, y'all say you love what we're doing. If you do, go ahead and join our membership. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section below, there's a link that says join our membership on YouTube. Follow those instructions, you will not regret it. You will see all the exclusive content that not everyone can see. Thank you in advance and we love you. Man, hey man, I'm down here in, guess what? Guess where I'm at? Miami? Miami. Florida. When they film the vice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what they say. Man, I, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't expecting to see this guy today, man, uh, but he's in the building, man. The the. And when they first named it, they said sauce. Then he came with flame la sauce. La, uh, flame la sauce. It's just, man, how did you come up with this name, first of all? Where did this come from? Yeah, first of all, I'm an artist from Miami. My name came from not having a rap name. You feel what I'm saying? And <laughs> of course. People was like, man, you got to put a name behind it. So I'm hot sauce in the street. They be like, you hot sauce, I'm hot, whatever. So um, one of my main mans, he passed away a few years ago. His name was La. They used to call me L M La. So... It's flame, you know, I'm a hot boy, you feel me, La, L.A. is for him, and sauce, you know what I mean? He's already been sauce, you know So it's mean? flame of sauces flame in the building, sauce, man. man. It's here. going down, man. Down here in Miami. What part of Miami are you from? I'm from North Miami. Okay. The whole Miami, really, you feel me? Miami's small. It ain't the big city, but North Miami where I'll be at. Let's man. talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about oh. it. Let me ask you, so okay. were you raised in a household with your mom and your dad in the household? Nah, just my mom. Just your and mom? my grandma my granddaddy. Shout out to them, boy, you feel me? So where was dad? I ain't never met my father. Ever? No, ever. Do you know who he is? Um, yeah, but I ain't know for years though. Like, you know what I mean? Speaking to the mic. I ain't know for years about my father, my bad, y'all, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but I grew up with my old girl, my old girl raised me and stuff. Okay, so how old were you when your mom told you who your father's father was? Um, or when you were you curious to ask him? Not really when I was growing up, I was bad. So I really was going, I was doing my own thing. I didn't really ask so much. It wasn't a question that really came up a mm. lot. But as I got into my teenage years, you know, I asked a few times. She gave me whatever answer, but you know, I was already on my own path. So it ain't really nothing that really bothered me too bad. But I wish he was been in my life though. That'd have been great. I mean, my kids like you know all of them. You know so mean? do you Shout feel out. like how many damn kids yeah. you got? I got four of them. I got three that baby mamas. They made it sound like a lot. I got three baby mamas. Man, I'm in all of my kids like all of them. Yeah, all of you them. You ain't doing nothing. No nigga ain't I doing. Love it. it. Yeah. I got it's I got one wife it. and two baby mamas. Man, it's people ain't so doing it. So that's three. Man. And I took care of all of them. And guess how many kids I got? How many? Four. So me and you the same. That's what I'm talking about. And we took care of these dudes and these women no matter what. So yeah, straight up from Miami to Texas, you niggas said, going you, down, you taking said care of kids. He, <laughs> you wish he was in your life, so you see where ha not having a father in your life affected you. Um, I ain't gonna lie, could have made me greater too, though. Actually, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, it would have been a great experience though, because I see what my son get the experience. You know, having his mom and his old boy. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. far as me. I ain't gonna lie, I'm lit. I, I'm loving. Maybe you'd have restricted me, had me on the leash. I ain't need that. I need to be full, you know, do whatever I needed to do. You know what I'm saying? To see who I want to be in life. You know what I mean? So, wrong with that. shout out to the old boy for not being there too, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> man. You know man, you know, shout out, man. Yeah, I mean, everybody be tripping, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From Antoine Fisher, daddy, on the move. <laughs> All these niggas don't like to show yeah, up, man. It's so a lot of niggas be slipping when it comes down. The only real daddy we had was James from good time everybody else you know I could have cussed but I'm gonna let you niggas make it but y'all need to step your game up yeah you got to <laughs> what about that other nigga too uh, Uncle Phil Uncle Phil he, I think he had Fresh Prince right. of Bel Air yeah, he died but he was dope in his own time you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying you had a few days anybody in the streets that stepped in when you you know and played that role for you you know the streets partners anybody you know shout out to the step daddies man you feel me yeah Straight up, shout out to the stepfathers. That's, that's a hard that's, role right there. Yep, 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 that's a hard role. Man, um, let's talk about it, man, the music. Like, how did you get into rap? Um, 
we used to we used to freestyle a lot in school and, and in the streets on the blocks and stuff like that. And um, I made like two songs and I was like probably like 12, 13, you know what I mean? And then um, after I got out, you know what I mean? By the time I, I turned probably like 21, 22, I was like, I'm going to do music. I always wanted to do music, believe it or not. There wasn't even something I just thought about. I always told my mom I wanted to be a rapper. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't want to work rapper. for nobody. I want to be my own boss because I thought the music game was something different than, you know, when you get into it, you know what I mean? But I always wanted to be an artist. I ain't what, what, with, with streaming being uh, at, at an all-time low when it comes to paying money, a million streams is only $4,000. Mm-hmm. How do you make money in music? Music ain't just about streams. It's also about, you know, merch. You know what I'm saying? Getting to meet new people. Like, I would never met you if I wasn't doing music. You know what I'm saying? Damn well know that. That's hard you know right there. So, that nigga done met ECO. Yeah. It's you up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got 33 sweats. Now we in Dallas and we in Houston. So, we, you know, the music gets you networked with different people. You know what I mean? I also do other things, but everything that I do, I feel like it put me in the right lane with That's the right hard. people that could get me to the... Right, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The fact that your show is going to have all type of people seeing my platform and everything. You know, it's love. That's what it's Man, about. That's hard. At least he know. See that? Some of these young niggas know. You don't ever know who know. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, know. let's talk about it, man. Like, who the hot, who the hottest rapper right now in Miami, Florida, where they film The Vice? Miami, Florida? Flame the Souls. You already know. Okay, and then who? Sauce LaFlame. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but the thing is, like, anytime you go to these new cities, like, when we in Dallas, we got, of course, uh, we got a dude named Montana 700, Zillionaire Doe, and uh, uh, Big Extra Plug is, like, the main guy. Like, like who's down here on that Big Extra Plug level? Um, you got uh, Tafia. You got, you got Miami. The thing about Miami, we, uh, this city... It's full of music, which you know that, but it's not so many big artists yet right now. You okay, know what I mean? so y'all still on the come up. So we on the come up, so you got a lot of artists right now on the come up game right now, you know what I mean, grinding and stuff. As far as me though, honestly, personally, I really don't, I don't really listen to nobody's music. I only listen to my own music, or I don't listen to music at all, you know what I'm saying? I'll be on some other things, so it's like, uh, I don't know who really be out here doing, because I don't really listen to them, to be real do with you. you. Do, do you respect Y'all the Trick Daddy and all that stuff yeah, and the course. people who oh, came man, up before Trick you. Trick Daddy, Ross, Flo like, Rida, Pitbull. Yeah, all of these man, boys. Man, Piccolo, everybody, you feel me, who grind, of course. I just don't really. You know your history. Yeah, I know everything. I know everybody. I know all the youngest and everything. I just really be on my own lane, you feel me, because I'm trying to have global music. I want my music to get out of Miami. Luke, I, you didn't say Luke. Luke was the, was the pioneer. Yeah, come on, Uncle For Luke, sure. man, you feel me? Shout out to man. So Luke, I just have man. to bring that, that foundational bill, you know what I mean? Because this thing didn't just start. It was a whole process to it. Yeah, you know what I'm this saying? Year, this year's in the making, though. This year's in the making, though. But our city don't really stick together so much on the music tip. So it's something we breaking right now. Definitely with this Triple One movement we got going on right now. One Star Shop. Y'all come to Triple One, you know what I mean? Trying to get good management, good advice. Trying to get your career moving. Mm-hmm. Get your streams running and everything. You know what I'm saying? Come stop over here where we at. What about, go ahead. Um, I was, this question I like to ask a lot of times, especially with, um, the newer generation of um, musicians and rappers and stuff. A lot of people are on this independent grind, right? Yeah. And you know, back in the days with the rappers, you know, labels always give them like A and R and different people, especially when doing interviews. But you have a lot of people nowadays who are not trying to get those type of training. What do you say about some of these rappers who be going on these podcasts and and so forth radio and not stations. radio stations and all of that, and not really being you know taught how to you know, answer certain questions and stuff like that. Oh, that's something that all us artists need, believe it or not, because so I'm here by myself, you know what I mean? And, you know, you gotta just make it happen. That's what it's life about, being an entrepreneur, not knowing, and sometimes, you know, it comes with fumbles and different things that you're not accustomed to, but you gotta know how to, like, maneuver through it to get what you're trying to present to the table shown, you know what I'm saying? Do so, you feel they should still try to get some sort of in our training, though? Of course, you know what I mean? If you need vocal training, writing training, you know what I mean, whatever it is. I don't feel like just because you're a good artist, you just stop there, like keep going, you know what I mean? Put more um, things under your belt, you know what I mean? That'd be great for anybody to grow with. Wow. Do you have a, like, like I said, when it comes down to just your kids and family, how important is God? 
Oh, God number one. Come on up to the mic. Like, we got God number that. one, man. Jesus Christ, man. I got a man. If you ain't praying and asking for it, you know the devil real, so you know God real. I don't know what you call him, but whatever it is, it's the Father. You already know. Wow. You know what I'm saying that's real. Like, like, how has he affected your life? That been my father, believe it or not. That's how I got through everything the streets that's and all. Nice I've been right blessed. There. Like, man, I ain't, go, boy, listen, I, I wouldn't think I'd be here today, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I used to live a YOLO lifestyle. Like, you know what I mean? I, I lived it up, party, did everything. Woo -de -woo. Um, it was Tell the grace of it. God. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was the mercy. It was all the good stuff that I made it out to be where I'm at right now and still pushing my music career, still selling exotic bullies, still being a father, still grinding, still showing all my friends, you know, we can be LLC owners and business owners and, you know what I'm saying, own things too, you know what I'm saying? So, wow. you don't stop in the streets, you know what I mean, it keeps going. Can you give me an example of something that you went through in your life that you can talk about, that after you came through, you're like, man, it ain't nothing but God. Give me an instance. Waking up every day. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's just it right there. Waking up every day, man. I had good people that was close to me, you know what I'm saying, that passed away already. They say the good died young. So, in fact, I feel like, man, me waking up, taking another breath, you know what I'm saying, being safe on these highways and all this. God, ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's more than that, too, though, you know what I mean? But, you know, for sharing the story right on the top, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's plenty of things. I don't been in jail before. It's things I don't prayed about, and it came, you know, the, you know, came to truth. You know what I'm saying? So I just look at those things. You know what I mean? And I believe, you know, in my own little faith that I read, you know, from the Bible and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I self teach myself. I don't really listen to what other people say. I like to read for myself and I love that, my bro. own understanding too. I love too. that, bro. That's yeah. what I do. Of course, and I've been doing it for many, many years. That's good. Genesis, Revelations, and just re believing in what I read. Of you course. know what I mean? Yeah. Because a lot of times people will lead you astray, but God yeah. will never yep. lead you astray. Thank you. I'm, I'm tatted on my back and say, trust nobody but God. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. everybody else you can't trust. That's true. They're human. Yeah, they're they gonna human. flake and flip and flop on you, but God will never fail. Yeah. When I was facing life sinners, mm -hmm. that's what I stood on. Straight up. God never fail. You beat it. I definitely you beat it. <laughs> yeah, beat it. Man, God beat it. Yeah. Yeah. God yeah. did, you yeah. know what I'm God saying? For did. sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's just a wonderful blessing, man, to even be able to meet you. And I ask everybody that because there's been a lot of people that sit in that seat that no longer with us and stuff like that. So yeah. I always have to bring that out because you know, um, you, we don't know. I might not be here. You might not be yep, here. Yep. So we don't know. So we got to make sure we hit the real for sure. Yeah, for but sure. just the music, man. Like how how important is visuals when you do your projects? Um, visuals is important though. That's how I connect with the fans and everything. Doing shorts and reels and you know what I mean, giving them snippets of the videos and everything. Cause just hearing it is one thing, but when you never paint that picture for them and let them see in the art form of how your video going and everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Touch that's, a little better. That's the whole game. Yeah. When, when, when it comes down to just uh, you guys building out a whole album and just building out a project, how soon will we see that? Well, right now we're doing singles right now. I got I know. Laugh Not Cry Later out, got Hawking Out, and right now in September we drop in intro. So every two, three months, typically I should have two new songs out, you know what I mean? But... For my uh, How Can I Single, <clears throat> the numbers is going good. I'm sorry, but the numbers are going good and stuff. So basically, I pushed that song a little longer than it was on the calendar. We pushed it back. We pushed a lot of our songs back, you know what I mean? But this year, uh, by the end of the year, we rolling out another like four or five tracks. And then by far as the album, next year, everything could be complete. I ain't going to say you the date yet, but next year, everything could be complete. Because right now, I'm just doing um shows and, you know, performing the music. Like I say, doing uh, music videos and shorts and everything so people can see my artwork and everything like that. Well, yeah, top, as an artist. Top three, two, top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Um, Tupac, for sure. Tupac, you number one? Yeah. Flame the Sauce always on me. On okay, I know. I know, I know uh, and, um... I say Wayne, Wayne, Wayne up there. You like Wayne? Yeah, Wayne up there. And uh, I give you one more. Uh, you said all time. All time. You know, I'm Florida. I'm, I'm going to put Yak on that too, though. You know what I'm okay, saying? Kodak okay. Black, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I didn't think about Kodak Black. Yeah. Man, that's my boy, man. Yeah. That nigga that is a fool with it when yeah, he come fool. when he want to do his thing, boy he gets all, he gets it done. I ain't gonna lie, I love the, I love the interview uh, uh, Kodak Black. That's crazy. You know we got Sauce Walker in uh, Texas. Okay. okay, you ever heard of Sauce Walker? Of course, Walker? of course. Okay, when you hear the Sauce name, who did you have it first or did Sauce Walker have it first? 
I had it first. I don't you know. You think you had it first? Yeah. How do you think you had it first? I don't know. I, I didn't hear about you first. I heard about Sauce. Now you heard about it first, but that don't mean my name wasn't ringing on my side first. So I just ain't get mine as big as he did. That's it. You know that's what I'm saying? It? Yeah, that's it. But you had it first. But we here now, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Sauce this when y'all start hearing that new sauce out here dripping through the streets and everything through the radios, y'all know who to look for. So right did now. the drip, because, you know, I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. I was a little upset with you boys down here in Miami. Let me go and get I just thought about that. And I got a young nigga on here, too. So I can go and get mine off right now. It was a thing come out where it was a dude jumped online from down here said that so, that that the slow music the screw came from down here and I had a problem with that. Nah, I don't know who said that. It was a, it was a Miami dude. It was yeah. well, it was a Florida dude for sure. Nah, I ain't gonna know yet. Did you? Wasn't the first time you heard about the screw music? Um, Texas, I ain't man. Gonna lie, uh, DJ Screw, man, give it up, man. That you know nigga, what I'm saying? Yeah. to DJ yeah. Screw, like that blew my mind when I heard yeah, him the say whole that. Mean culture, yeah. And everything. I don't know. Oh, I that, that always been Texas. That's a Texas name, but yeah, wasn't it? It was a nigga that jumped up. Cause when I first heard music from down here, it was bass. Yep, I ain't gonna lie, it started bass. Yep. Then Luke was in the mix of that too. So. It was, uh, you know, it was, it was some bass going on. But when Luke came, he came with the bass too. Mm -hmm. But Luke would just fly with the women, man. Always crazy with it. Always. But that's how. Come back up to the mic. Um, so um, the only thing I can say, man, is you, uh, you one of them dudes, man. I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you. Sure. Uh, you better stay out of trouble, nigga. Always. Don't, you got these kids. I'm Listen always. to me, man. I'm listening to you. You got these kids, man. Yeah. So yeah. you got to stay out of trouble. You got to be out here. And I know you moving fast, nigga. It's live. You know, we already know. You moving fast. So I'm just telling you, man, um, I'm gonna be watching you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm on your Instagram now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rock and chop it up with you to see how you doing. Yeah. And I'm gonna be popping up down here in Miami trying to see what my boy doing. Yeah, always, always. Make sure, like, make sure you the, send the prayers out for me too, though, man. You feel I'm me? every every All time. Thug need prayers, man. That's why I love my grandma. She's still praying for Come me. Come on, man. Flame yeah. LaSalle says yeah. grandma still praying still for Still praying for me, bro. Man, thank yeah. you so much for coming on the show, brother. Like yeah, I man. said, how can people get a hold of you? Yeah, fl um, Flame LaSalle on um, all platforms besides. Instagram on Instagram is Sauce the Flame. Man, thank you so much, man. Anything else you want to shout out before we get off here? Anybody want to send a special shout out? Yeah, Trip shout out to um Triple One Management, man. DSC, man. One Dime Breed. You feel what I'm saying? My whole little team that got me out here on doing my music thing. Um, shout out to um. Myself, actually, too, though. You know what I mean? And shout out to y'all team, too, though. Boss I love Boss Talk, man. You Boss Talk, the hardest the podcast up. in the world. Straight up. I said in the world, Craig. The it's world. going down, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Appreciate you. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we have. There it is.